Device.platform is one of the variables that are built into Bravo and can be used out of the box. That means that the value is automatically set by Bravo and you cannot set it yourself. It allows you to modify URLs according to the platform the user is currently on. It returns either iOS or Android. Knowing this, you can base the response of a URL off of the platform. To make that more clear, let's have a look at two examples. The first example will be inserting the variable into an Airtable request URL to filter for records that are relevant to iOS users only. If I was on an iOS device, Bravo would replace the device.platform variable with iOS. Let's have a look at that request URL. If you wanted to filter a table in Airtable for a keyword, you would use a formula with the search function. It searches the specific table, in our case it's called platform, for the keyword, in our case iOS. If we wanted to make it dynamic and also include Android as an option, we'd replace the keyword with the device.platform variable. In Airtable, simply add a field called platform. It should have either iOS or Android as value, but make sure that they are spelled the exact same way as in the documentation. When we filter for iOS in our URL, only the relevant records will be returned. You could also use it in a web view tag directly in Figma or Adobe XD to display a different website depending on the platform. Let's say you had different subpages of a website to download an app from, one for Android and one for iOS. Just replace the slug in the web view with the variable. Now the correct website will be displayed when a user views the web view. If you want more information on variables, check out the general introduction on Bravo Studio's YouTube channel.